Let me see you make it whole body move. Whole body move. Whole body move. Hey, you guys. How are y'all? I know it's probably been a while. But, uh, today is... I don't have my watch on. Today is Thursday, um... I don't know, 26 something. And it's currently like 4.20. And I just got out of practice. And so, yeah. Uh, wait, it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, it's Wednesday. And I don't know what day it's Thursday, 28. And I just got home. Um, let's see. I haven't really been doing nothing been working out that's about it uh trying to stay fit i quit my no bread diet kind of like last saturday i wouldn't say i quit it but i just kind of uh i just kind of stopped caring about me eating bread because it's just it's just a headache like i don't i don't feel like going through that i'm just like i'm just gonna eat whatever i want and i will exercise and burn the calories because you know your body needs about 1200 calories each each day you know to function properly but so yeah i'm going to okay so this weekend will be busy for me um it's a three-day weekend for us it, it must in my in my parish, let me say that in my parish, at least I think it is in my parish, for Sabine Parish of Louisiana. I'm not sure, but um, I know my school is out for Fair Day, which is Friday, and at during that time they have uh like 4-H stuff going on, and I'm in 4-H of course, so I will be in the talent show for that, <laughs> and let's see um talent show we're doing a dance gonna have a song gonna have cheer and i also will be working at the fair like before the talent show so i'll be there with for each junior leaders you know doing some stuff there um i don't know i don't know i'm not playing music right now because Because I played on my phone and I'm using my phone right now. Ooh. Um, I don't I don't listen to the radio. Only radio I listen to is like Sirius XM. I was saying only radio I listen to is like Sirius XM. I don't listen to like Y'all remember this song? This is on the iPod, this in the car. <laughs> what was the challenge called? Um, I don't even know what was the challenge called. But y'all, it's been raining like almost all week, I would say, except like Tuesday or Monday. No, Tuesday, because I was going to wash the car, okay? So I get the water hose out and stuff. And I'm like connecting it. And as I go to turn it on, water goes everywhere it's like busting i'm like what so i go get the little gorilla tape try to you know patch it up thinking that everything gonna be all right okay so i attempt to patch it up and it's just like not working for me i'm just like okay okay I'm, well i'm not washing the car for a couple of days it's, this is like the dirtiest this car has ever like been maybe I mean, it's been dirty to me. I it, it it's been just dirty. It gets just dirty like this whenever it rains because, like, whenever it's been raining, it's been raining like all week. So the only time is getting to wash is like towards the weekend when it's top. But it, it's raining the weekend as well, so it's just like you not getting to wash it for a while. Like I would wash it to get the bugs out, but don't have no water hose. Mm. Yep. So. That's out. <laughs> um, okay, like I was saying about 4 H, do all that Friday. And so I was like I said I was gonna have a busy weekend. Um Friday I'm also leaving going to Ben Roots again and I will leave probably around twelve, get there around three, four. 
which which is which is good time because normal time I leave in the evening at that night, which I'm kind of am happy that we're leaving earlier. You know, we're able to. So the plan was to leave like at eleven o'clock that night after my after my dad got off work, but he took off, so I'm kind of like happy, like okay, because I know I was probably gonna be the one driving and. I don't know about late at night. I don't know how these. I'm. I don't want to fall asleep. Anyway, so I'm going to SU's uh, homecoming, which is Southern University. It's HBCU college, and yeah, I mean, you know, they say oh they're lit and this and that. I want to see see what you about, <laughs> and you know, I will get kind of like a view on southern you know see everything so i put it on the list like between the two colleges right now for me is magnese and southern that's you know that's them and i will i'm going to actually try out which here like the cheer scholarships at certain colleges but the thing is you have to know how to tumble and i don't know how to tumble when i'm just like i can't even tuck i can't do backflip i can really But y'all gotta just pray for me, like that's gonna be experience like wow. Like if I don't have tumbling and stuff down, you know, down pat between now and spring, no use me trying out. Just straight up. Unless they unless they have it to where it's not a requirement. But some of them require you to do like certain ones. Like wow. I mean, I'm not scared to, like, do it. It's just that I need to know, like, how. Because I've done some things with you that I never thought I could do. Like, wow, you know? So, I just need to have a mentor to, you know, show me, okay, this and this and this, whatever. And just, I learn the basics. Maybe lose a little bit more weight <laughs> so I can go up. <laughs> Pretty sure I can go up if I get, you know, good jump or something i don't know but yeah that was it today uh i didn't come home this is my first time coming home because we had to stay out the school to paint with chica and um we're painting signs for like spirit stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff mm. and um i don't know why i keep bouncing back i don't want to bounce um uh, yeah i mean i'm just gonna go y'all i'm gonna go eat me some pasta i have some pasta made last night and it was just like because we didn't have like chicken we we had chicken but it was like chicken breast like to cut up and put in the pasta so i was thinking you know let's just like fry some fish and like make pasta and then you, you use the fish as the meat you know eat with the pasta so it was just like plain pasta with like sausage and like vegetables and stuff it was really good like it's like it's like alfredo sauce pasta but it was kind of like not in the can, like I wanna say homemade. Or the sauce is homemade, I would say that. So yeah. It's really good, like the boom. Like I wanna I can eat pasta every day. I'm just like Italian fan, like pizza and stuff like that. All that bread though, but yeah. Uh I love Olive Garden. That's something y'all know about me now. I love to eat. <laughs> if you can't already tell. But uh yeah guys, I that's all I did for today. I will talk to you guys later. I will I will hope you guys join me. Throughout this week. Throughout the end of this week. I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna say because I think I'm gonna put this in, you know, a collab with other videos, not just like oh one video here, one video there. That's gonna mm -mm. ain't nobody gonna mm -mm. Mm. Everybody got time for that. I barely be one to edit <laughs> the uh because I'm not gonna want to edit all them. Okay, so anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna put it all in one. So um I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of this video as tomorrow begins and Saturday ends. <laughs> so um tomorrow is Thursday, last day of school this week and I have school, then I have true practice, and I have a meeting with 4-H in the morning. 
Let's see what else I have. It's me before each at the school, but I can't make that. And I don't know. What else? That's it. Well, we're pra basically practicing for the Tamale Fiesta parade. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. You're excited? Yes. <laughs> Why this car is automatic, it's systematic, it's hydromatic, why it's grease lightning, grease lightning. I just like to say I'm sorry for the um, video. Um, I'm not sure why is it blurry. It's probably because of like it being sent to me and not me actually, you know, recording myself or anything. But I just wanted to add that video of in the talent show, and we did actually win um, first in the talent show, first in the um, shirt contest, first in our song that we did, and. We made um, third in the yell, and we made fourth overall. So that's what we placed, you know, at the fair. And we actually got selected to perform at the Zawali Tamale Fiesta. Zawali Tamale. Yeah, but Zawali Tamale Fiesta kickoff. So the kickoff, um, I will be performing with cheer as well as 4-H for the talent show. So, yes, enjoy the rest of my vlog good morning you guys welcome back to my channel um today is saturday it is 7 11 and um i'm currently in ben rouge at my auntie's house we're going to go i'm here i'm in town for um su's homecoming so i'm gonna go to parade i'm gonna tailgate and i'm probably gonna go to the football game it's going to be an eventful day. It's going to be all day long. And it's just going to be epic. It's going to be fun. It's going to be HBCU. You know, lit, lit, lit. So, stay tuned. Peace out. Yeah, yeah.
how y'all living today, man? How y'all living today, bro? We're gonna start like this. I like this shit, right? Hold up, we go. Hold up. You gotta put your hands up. Come on. Hey. How you doing? Huh? Hi, Shamal. Oh, well, I didn't realize I was on a recording. Yeah. Why are you recording me? I don't know. How you doing? 
Mm -hmm. What you went over to? Nothing. Mm -hmm. You ready for cake game today? I guess. Might as well be. Yes, hopefully it don't rain. I doubt it. Marley. Hey. Hey, Marley. Say hey. Hey, Marley. <laughs> 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 No, I couldn't see your career. When you was talking about it, I was thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to have to lose your career. Yeah, I'm fine. I just bought the chair for the last time the ground was made. Oh, boy, made. Oh, boy, made. I don't care. I don't Oh, good kick. Come on, Royal with the return. Can't not let you get dress on, man. You gotta teach him how to take his shirt. Hit somebody, Kay. Stop that ball. Hey, 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 hey. You had. Hey, we ought to be moving everything. Let's go, D. We ought to be moving everything. See that big head. God damn, man. What's going on? First down, Man, he ain't never did that shit before. And I ain't want to start doing that shit, man. Stop your ball. Stop your ball. Stop your ball. Stop your ball. Stop you ain't gonna hit this dude all day today. You messy this? He messy because he wrong. He can't take him. I went walking all the way up You want an alpha? I don't Get him, get him, get him. Go get him. There you go. Oh,
You got to go. Go hit him. You still got to sit down. Die. One by one. Come on. Two by two. Let's go. Let's go. Brian Carter with the history. He ain't no small boy. That ain't no small little little boy right there. Wrap up, AJ. He up. Let's say skip script. AJ. I know my three of them. I know one. Two of them. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ball, ball. Get that ball. 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 At the end of the first quarter, it, it will be six zip bingles. There's an air horn or something. We need to speak. Nah, it's a Let's give it up one time for that last official showing up right before the second quarter. Buzz it high enough. Good night over at SU's homecoming. I see plays and I see riffs. Let's give it up one time. <laughs> They done pissed them out early. They, yeah, they pissed them out too early. Number one do everything, man. That's a flag, baby. That's a flag. Down by Aiden Jackson. Oh, and a big boy too. Right? 39 yards. Oh, man, 38 yards. Oh, wow. Once again, Playboy, hey my man, if you're on the field and you do not have on a wristband, 
has to hit those stairs for your boy. For your boy, boy. Can't be arguing with the refs. Has to hit those stairs. Appreciate this. Dude, man. Why ain't got no wristband, though? Dude got a bag. He got a bag. Yeah, that's a coach, man. You want the bag? Say yeah. <laughs> go! Go! Touchdown! Touchdown! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna be at the feet alone! We'll see! We'll see! We'll see! Bring out fans of the two y'all. Oh, we had five touchdowns called back last week. I doubt it. No, you sure did. They called back on every touchdown. We had five touchdowns called back last week. Join the club. Join the club. That thing crazy. Y'all, don't sit there. Don't argue with me. Don't get them started, please. Get on the stop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.
hey guys welcome back um i've just got done watching kaden's game they play well today they um lost um but they did good um i think uh i think yeah i told y'all that i was coming to bay ridge and stuff like that yeah so um Canterbury Ridge, yesterday I went to the homecoming, SU, Southern University homecoming. They're HBCU college, you know, and it was lit. Like, their homecoming was, their homecoming parade and the homecoming, like tailgating and all that was really, really lit. I wasn't expecting nothing that I experienced from the parade. I, you can tell that the cultures, look, I can, can't even see it. The cultures, 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 whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. You can tell that the culture is very different, but I'm finna leave Van Rouge now, so. Hey, you guys. Thanks. Um, welcome back. Okay, so this is going to be the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching this far. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Thank you for um, having an inside view of NSU's homecoming. Now, today is actually October 2nd. The homecoming was like on the 29th, I'm, I'm thinking, or something like that. I don't know. But I just haven't had time to, like, you know, conclude the video or whatever, you know. I didn't have time like, to close it or whatever because y'all been sick. So, you're going to have to excuse me for that. I'm going to be kind of slacking on my videos or whatever. I know I said I was going to do so much, but, like, I was sick. I've been sick for, like, two weeks. And I was actually, actually sick when I went to Ben Rouge, but I just didn't really. It just, it wasn't, like, I don't know. I guess you could say it just wasn't really, like, affecting me as greatly as it, you know, has been or whatever, but when the over-the-counter medicine, like, when that stopped, when that wasn't working, then, you know, you, you know, something like, was well, like, okay, like, this is serious, okay, I need to get some, get, go to the doctor, get some, get something, you know, so anyways, they diagnosed me with, um, bronchitis, which I kind of already diagnosed myself, because I looked at the symptoms of bronchitis, and that's basically what I had, so I, I knew what I was going to the doctor for, and um, I got a shot and a steroid shot, and um, I had asthma when I was little. I'm a premature baby, and yeah, but I came out okay. You know, everything is fine. Thank the Lord. I weighed, while we, while we were on this subject, I weighed two pounds, two ounces. Yes, can you believe it? Two pounds two ounces like what okay and so i could literally i could literally fit in a shoe box like i was that small but you know everything was okay with me you know i was all right you know just by the grace of god so and i i was only a premature baby because when my mom was pregnant with me she started like walking and she, like, walked every day, and so that's how, whatever, you know, that's how I became premature, you know. Because, you know, most premature babies, you know, they have some, you know, effects or whatever. But I had a little asthma when I, I was little, and I used to have to take breathing treatments. Well, they gave me a warrant today at the doctor's office, and I'm going to uh, have to use an asthma pump now. Now, I haven't had asthma since I was about, since about five years plus ago. So, for asthma to come back in my system, that's like a shock for me. Like, wow. Like, I didn't know, like, that could even have, that, that, like, that could be possible for asthma to come back to someone. But, you know, I guess, it, you know, it could be possible. But, so, yeah, that's what I have to do from here on out is, you know, use my asthma pump regularly. 
And, you know, hopefully it, I grow out of it and, you know, like I did once I was little and, you know, everything would be okay. And I hope, hopefully I get rid of this bronchitis because it's in my chest and I'm like, my body's trying to like cough up the mucus that's built up and the inflamed of my upper respiratory system. And, you know, it was inflamed and my asthma just made it worse, which I'm just like, okay. No wonder I can't get rid of it because, you know, I have asthma and it's just like worse. <laughs> and so, um, you guys may see that my face is kind of like maybe like shining from the light. Well, I just did my face routine. Uh, you know, just got a shower and wear my PJs and stuff. So, um, my face will look like that. It looks like that after, after whatever. But, um, you may notice that, you know, my blemishes and black spots are clearing up like pretty good. Like I'm actually surprised. I will do a face routine now that I see like, you know, I'm getting kind of some results. I don't know like what it's from, but I think it's the apple cider vinegar. I did a apple cider vinegar like wash or whatever. It's not really a wash. I just put it on my face before I did anything else. So, I did that for like a week, and you know I saw results. I'm like, wow, you know. So it does work, and I want to try like the aloe vera. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. You know the little plant. I want to try that, like the little stuff from that. I heard that works well as. I heard that works good as well. So I want to try that, and. I don't know, you guys. I'm trying to catch y'all up on me since I haven't really been done any videos. And I'm closing my weekend. And it's a Baton Rouge at Issues Homecoming. Okay, let's talk more about that. I was just like, okay, in the video, in the previous videos of the parade, as you guys could see that, you know, um, people are like looking, you know, want, people saying, oh, she should have been watching that child, stuff like that. Well, apparently there was a, in, I wouldn't say an infant, but like a toddler, one year old, that was walking around at the parade by himself. His mother wasn't watching him. So he got drugged by the float apparently. And so, well, Okay, you know, the parade is going on and all all like this. So here come this float. And all you know is they were like, stop the float. Stop the float. And people on the float were telling the driver to stop the float. Stop the float. And so, like, it was uh, this man who walked up to the drop to the window of the truck. And he was like, do not move the truck any further. Like, keep it right here or whatever. And he, but before all that, they was telling him to back up as well. And like, we was just like, everyone was just looking because you know, it's a lot of people and like looking, trying to see what was going on. Because I'm like, is there a baby to get run over? See, when, when, when it, when, when I knew something like, I knew a child or something had to be like, ran, I thought somebody had got ran over, like how they were looking down, like, you know. Because it was a vehicle right here, and this is the, like, the road that has to come, and, like, it's, like, turned the corner, like, whatever. And so, they had to come up around the corner, and the vehicle was by the corner, so, you know, it was, like, a little turn or whatever. But, you know, during the parade, it was people, like, out on the road, so they kind of had to make, make their way through the crowd or whatever, which was weird because parades here in my hometown... You know, in my parish that I know of and all like that, we don't be necessarily in the road, like in the way. You know, we stay way out of the way. And I mean, there'd be a lot of people, but it don't be as many people as it was for that. I, I can understand that. But we be behind the white and... And it's like white and yellow lines. Yeah, I'm th I'm thinking, yeah. We behind the white and yellow lines, I'm thinking. If not the white and yellow, the white line, you know, on the road. 
we're behind that. We are not all in the road. It, that's why I was saying, like, the cultures were very different for me. Because you had people walking up and down the parade while the parade was going on. I'm looking at, like, are you serious? Like, it's a truck coming and you walking, like, going to your going to your friends and stuff or whatever. But you just, you know, going, just walking. But you walking while the parade is going on and you not in the parade. That's what I didn't understand. I was like, wow. Like, it was just so much interference, like, with the parade as far as, you know, the incident with the child. And it was okay. And, you know, the mother was ready to fight everyone on the floor. And as you can see in the videos, they were ready to fight back. And it was just like, oh, my God. Like, wow. But anyways, um, we just got not talk about that. We just, you know, child cake, thank God, you know, didn't get hurt, didn't get run over, got drugged, but I don't know, I didn't see it. I just saw the commotion and the, the disruption of the parade and, you know, the police came and the, so the police, it was like three of them that stood there for maybe about 15 minutes during, after, you know, the parade continued. But it was just like, wow, you know. And then... While we were on the parade, people were saying that there was like a shooting or something at SU. I don't know why people were saying that. Because even here, someone mentioned something to me about that they were shooting. Did no one shoot? Like, no. I mean, like, it was a lot of black people, but did nobody shoot? Like, okay. If there would have been shots fired, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone would have been running. But there wasn't a shooting. Like, I don't understand. There was an incident, you know, a couple of days ago that the LSU um, basketball player was killed over there near the Southern campus. Yeah, that was that was a shooting. But it wasn't a shooting at the parade. But okay. Um, Let's see what else. I didn't really get to tour Southern's campus like I wanted to. I wanted to, um, like, you know, go around and do, like, a preview day or whatever. But I really didn't get to do that. I mean, we tailgated and stuff and all that, which, you know, I saw basically the different cultures of how HBCU homecoming is. Like, it is really lit. Like, yes. Like, I mean, I would love to go to Southern, but as of now, I'm kind of undecided. I don't know. I have to um take a, a tour of the campus to see for myself, you know then I'll be able to decide. But as of now, I'm unsure and I don't know. I kind of want to do a, I don't kind of want to do, I want to do a, and I'm going to try to do a freshman connection, like where you go for the weekend and you go stay on campus and, you know, you get to try the campus out for the weekend or whatever. I want to do that at Southern and at, if, and, and at McNeese. So, you know, I, get the fill up both of them and you know everything like you know whatever so i want to try that i don't know why my eyes are like really low like one is like kind of like low than the other i don't have a lazy eye if you guys are wondering i'm just like i don't know it's probably the medicine anyway so yes guys i'm like okay and let's see less no not monday today is tuesday Yesterday, we filled out college applications, you know, three of them, and we, they were going to be wavered by LASFA. So, I had already filled out my McNeese one, and I'm glad I didn't pay for it because they wavered it. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to pay twenty ninety one. You know, like, there's not nothing, but I don't want to pay twenty ninety one for application. I get to keep my money, yay. Okay, you know, because I would rather spend my money on clothes and food than, you know, stuff I actually really need, but, you know, whatever. My closet is already running over. Like, I literally cannot hang anything else up. I'm just, like, making room the best way I can. I have, like, a separate little portable, like, clothing rack, and I'm starting to put clothes on that inside my closet because I'm running out of room. That is just how many clothes I have. And while we're talking about you know, this, um, as you guys know, I love shopping, so, you know, whatever. Um, while we're talking about clothes, I went to the doctor today, whatever, like I said. Um, my doctor looked at me, and she was like, 
I had to look, take a double take to make sure you were still in school because you dress nice. And I'm like, what? She's like, do you wear this every day? And I'm like, yes. And then my stepmom was like, uh, he, uh, just, she said every day and he, he wore that just to go to the mailbox. And I'm just like, what? Like, are y'all serious? Like, y'all trying to say I'm kind of like, what, fancy or something? Or bougie is like people love to call me, whatever. But I just had to throw that out there. She's like, my son dresses like a slob. I'm like, what? Like, me, I just have to, like, present myself, you know. I have to look decent when I go out. I don't know about anyone else, but, like, if I, I may, if I, like, there might be a couple times where you see me with, like, a mismatched shirt that don't go with the shorts that I got on. But that because it's a Saturday and... I probably didn't plan on coming up the house or either I'm probably doing something like painting or, you know, I have a reason for why I'm like that. But even when I'm doing that, those things, I tend to have on certain outfits that, you know, are okay, you know, that go with whatever, you know, I'm very picky. I, my color, uh, has to be cord. My colors have to be color coordinated you know, with my outfit, like, today I wore this sweater, it was like a cream, and my pants were like a, kind of dark with a, I don't know how, what they call that, but it was like a, a fade, you know, like, uh, the dye was kind of, like, I don't know, it was a dark dye, but the whole pants wasn't, you know, the full pants wasn't dark, it had like the little white on it, whatever, so, and the stitching were like a was like a caramel brown, and my uh, Sperry's are like a caramel brown. So it kind of like you know coordinated. You know we kind of looked it good. So you know I guess that's why she was like wow. But that's just me. Like I have to make my clothes look and look a certain way. Like you can't just put this with this because. These colors go with a certain thing, you know, and this and this and this. You know, after you learn about fashion for a while, you kind of you kind of get it, you know. And you can't disobey the rules of fashion. Like, it's some stuff you just don't do. Like, you just don't. Like, and you know you don't do them, but, you know, you just don't. And I, I think it's kind of kind of weird that I know some stuff like that. Like, and I do it. And sometimes I do it and don't even, like, intentionally do it. Okay, I'm like, this match, this match, this match. And then, like, I I will be picking out outfits in my head. Like, I would just, just, like, run through my closet in my head and pick out outfits that I maybe, like, worn before because me, I will buy a whole outfit. Like, when I go shopping, I will buy whole outfits. Like, if it's on a mannequin or if it goes together, I will buy it. Like, okay, this outfit goes like this. this outfit goes with this, you know, the pants, you know, everything. Like, this is me. Like, when I shop, I really shop, you know. And the sweater was Banana Republic, of course. So, I mean, whatever. I love Banana Republic. Like, I have, I've been progressing with Banana Republic now, like, in, like, with their clothes and things like that. I'm just like. Wow. I, I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like, I've, I've been looking. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. I, oh, okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to like continue to get like, I'm probably am. Cause like I've been getting like my fall stuff. Like I've been getting some sweaters and you know stuff. I don't need more pants. I have tons of pants. Ton, tons of pants. I don't really need any more pants. I have pants that I haven't even worn yet. Like, wow. Like, okay. And then I was looking at her closet when I was like hanging up stuff. I was just like, okay, I didn't know I had that. I was like, yes, I did. Like, you know, like some stuff you know you had half or whatever. And yeah, half. Why did I say half? Whatever. <sighs> Anyways. Some stuff, you know, you like, you'd be like, I didn't know I had that. Like, okay, where did, where did that come from? 
then I thought about it, like, oh, I got it, like, last, around last winter or something. I don't know, but, like, it was, like, some Nike, a Nike fit. Because I knew I had the Nike, like, sweat, not sweatshirt, but, like, the hoodie type, or whatever. I have a lot of Nike hoogie, hoogies. Hoodies. I can't even talk right now. I have a lot of Nike hoodies. And it was just this, like, this one set that actually, like, went to this, basically, this outfit that I didn't know I had. It was, like, this hoodie and, like, these sweatpants, which actually, you know, looks good. So, I'm just like, oh, I knew I had that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just like, okay. And I kind of want to give me some more Uggs this winter. And I'm just so excited for fall and stuff. Fall, winter. Fall and winter in Louisiana is like, like you can ch you can tell a difference. It's not like that. Fall and winter kind of runs pretty much the same. I mean, as far as getting colder in the winter, that's about it. We hardly ever get any snow. So, but last year we got some. So, that was pretty good. Um, I want some more Uggs. I kind of want like the short. They call them short something. Classic short. I don't know. But they're kind of like the taller kind than what I have. And, yeah. So, um, I think that's, I think that's all I'm going to say in this video. Uh, thank you guys for staying to the end and listening to me ramble about different things. But I just have to catch up with you guys. Um, I will be, I will try. I'm not going to promise anything, but I will be posting new content soon. So, stay tuned. That's why I'm the best. Hold my sauce. Yeah. Haters lost, I'm a boss, diamonds clear like